Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, well this is basically a continuation of yesterday's video. So in yesterday's video I showed you the new Amor Tints collection from Madame Glam. There were three uh, shimmery glittery colours and, no, four, sorry. And then there were four opaque creamy colours. I'm going to use the three shimmery colours. I don't know how you describe this. It's not glitter, but it's like shimmery and it's lovely. I'm going to use the shimmery colours as the base. Did I just say that? I feel like I did. <laughs> there's like a, a dark pink or a more reddy colour and then there's a pink and then there is a kind of rose goldy colour. But they're really nice. Look, this is the rose goldy colour. I can't remember the names of them. But what I'll do is, is I will link yesterday's video somewhere in this video or I'll pop it down in the description box so you can go and have a look at them. Look at them. They're gorgeous. Oh, I love them so much. Two coats. Okay, so before we add our roses, we're going to need to apply no wipe top coat to all of these nails. If you wanted to, you could do them matte top coated. Um, it doesn't matter as long as they're top coated before you move on to the roses. So we're using Love's Veil, vale, Berry Blush and Lilac Lace. I'm going to pop, pop. <laughs> I'm not going to pop, I'm going to pop. <laughs> um, th uh, three blobs. Of the colors onto my palette and then using my detailer brush to start the embossed roses you kind of need like what I'd call an apostrophe or a croissant shape and we're gonna have two very small ones in the center of our roses and then as you make your way out what well, as you make the rose bigger the croissants, which are the petals, will get bigger as well, but you always thin them out at the end and curl them around as you go. So look, we're curling it around and thinning it, thinning it out, curling it round and thinning it out. You see? And you can always make the petals thicker, like in the center. And I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna carry on. So I would then do my next petal where the two ends kind of almost meet. Do you see what I mean? And I'm just making that a bit thicker and a bit longer. And I'm, I'm gonna do like three different things. So this nail eventually is gonna be completely full up with, with the, this design. So I'll show you at the end. Initially I didn't know I was just going to do like some big roses on this one but I thought no we'll completely fill this one in. One nail I'm going to do um, some roses that are smaller and more spread out and then the third nail is going to be um, just two, two roses either end of the nail so you can do different yeah you can do different things right so I'm going to stop there what I'm going to do is I'm using some acrylic powder and I'm sprinkling that over my my rose. Now, what will happen is the gel polish will suck up the acrylic and eventually it will go matte. So if you if you sprinkling it on and tap it off, and then if you watch it before you pop it in the lamp, if any part goes shiny, you want to stick more acrylic on. But pop it in the lamp and dust it off, and then you can kind of see the start of the... It looks really cool. I really like the embossed look over the shiny background. I think it looks really nice. So I'm kind of starting a rose here and that's going to be like the middle. You kind of, in your head, you kind of have to picture how you kind of want it or where you want them to be. So yeah, I'm going to make this quite big because like again, another kind of big, a big rose. And I'm just going to, so I don't want to touch the, the other rose as well. So just bear in mind, yeah, just, I'm going to make that bigger as well because I thought that looked a little bit weird. Okay, if you want to, like I'm doing here, if you feel more comfortable, do the sprinkling in sections. So once you're happy with a section, sugar it with your acrylic. You could do it with glitter as well, um, like, but make sure it's a really fine glitter. So look, I've added another rose at the bottom and then in a minute we're going to come back and we're going to fill in these little gaps here just so that this looks like a complete nail. 
so right on this one i've the petals in the middle are darker and as i've gone out it's the colors have got like lighter i'm gonna add another one to the bottom like that so that would just be like a kind of accent nail i suppose in fact all of these could be accent nails so you can see the one on the left i've done with smaller roses i don't want to i didn't want to keep repeating it because it's it's all very samey but i just wanted to show you different um like different designs you could do even though it's like the same kind of you know the same the process is the same like here i'm just adding i'm leaving gaps between the petals but i'm just filling that in with my gel polish and this these little these bits are kind of easy because you just kind of add like curve like rounded triangles do you know you know what i mean that doesn't make much sense rounded triangle but you just you can just fill like that whole section in if you wanted to like that <clears throat> i've got a tickly throat i haven't actually got a cold which is good but my son's had a cold and i've got like i've got a little bit of a tickly throat with it but hopefully it will just go tomorrow but it makes me want to cough when i talk <coughs> like that <clears throat> right now i filled all of those extra gaps in i'm going to sprinkle them again and then I'll cure it in the lamp. And once we dust it off, so you, you can see, look, it's a complete nail. I just think that looks really nice. I love that so much. But that's basically how you do embossed roses. I really like the, the one on the left as well with the gaps between. And then this one you could just do if you, you know, if you're not that confident. You just want to have one. Up. You could just have one at the top as well. But there we go. I hope you like this video. Um, if you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Websites and discount codes will be below along with the um, video from yesterday. I'll leave a link down there as well. But God bless. Love you all. And I will see you beautiful lots in the next one. Love you. Bye.